Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great, fantastic day. Now in today's video, I'm going to be replaying with the I Heart Revolution Fruit and Nut Palette. If you guys will see my first impressions of this palette, I'll link it on the eye somewhere. Not to spoil or anything, but I kind of played around with the purple shades in this palette and they just weren't really my favorite to be honest with you but i didn't want to lose hope so i really wanted to create two different looks with this palette and see if any of the other eyeshadows are any good so if you guys are going to enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video i do here on this channel don't forget to follow me on instagram if you want to link is in the description bar below so if you guys want to see part one and part two of me creating two different looks using the i heart revolution fruit and nut palette just keep watching hi guys this is part two of playing around with the i heart revolution fruit and nut palette then the other cards I haven't used is pretty much like Deluxe, Walnut, Melted Chocolate. I haven't used Grape, which is this colour here. I haven't used Blueberries. I haven't used Hazelnut. So I'm pretty much just going to chuck on as many colours as I can with this palette. So that way I've pretty much used all the colours in this palette. I also forgot Macadamia as well. So the first colour I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with the shade Melted Chocolate, which is this one right here. So it's pretty much like a matte brown colour. I'm just going to take a Mulan fluffy brush. This is by, I think it's by Mad Beauty, this brush. I really like this brush. So I'm going to take that colour. That's the first colour. I've already applied concealer to my lids. And I'm just going to start blending this in the crease area. I'm now going to take the shade Deluxe, which is this shimmery brown colour right here. I'm actually just going to apply that slightly just on top of where we applied uh, Melted Chocolate. This is just a Real Techniques brush, just a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to just apply this in the crease as well. I'm going to go back in with Melted Chocolate, just going to add a bit more of that colour back. This is a really nice transition colour. This is really nice. I'm going to soften out those transition colours we've got going on, the two of them. They're really nice, by the way, like deluxe. You can't really see the shimmers. The shimmers actually tend to fall off. It's more like a warm transition colour, really. So I have got the shade Peanut as well, which I haven't used, but there's also macadamia as well so i think i'm gonna go in with macadamia and i'm just gonna take it on this real techniques it's a deluxe crease brush it's a bit more firm it's quite a big one i'm gonna take that macadamia might not do a lot but it'll just help to soften out what we've got going on just help them blend together so i'm just gonna take a little bit of that and just soften them out Okay, now let's add some colours to the lid because I feel like we've worked with the crease enough. <laughs> so, um, just deciding what colour to go in with. I think I'm going to go in with blueberries, which is this colour right here. And I think I'm just going to take my fingers with this. So, I'm just going to sanitise my hands first. I always tend to sanitise my hands before dipping my fingers in the palettes because, you know, you know, because of dirt and stuff. <laughs> well, that is really pretty. And I'm going to apply that just on the lid. Oh, that is a nice colour. That is really nice. Go back in with the previous colours. Just soften that blue colour out a bit. I just personally felt like that blue would have came out better with my finger. Then a brush. Okay, I did feel like that colour did fade a little bit when I was blending it. With those two colours, I had to re-add a little bit to the lid just so you could see something. So it's a nice little wash of colour, but when you blend it, it does fade into nothing. So just bear that in mind when you're using that colour. Okay, I want to add a little bit of depth to this eye. I haven't used the shade Walnut yet, which is this colour right here, which is like a shimmery darker brown colour and I'm just going to take a Eco Tools fluffy brush this one here and I'm just going to pack it actually I might take something actually a bit smaller yeah I'm actually going to take this this um, Superdrug Studio brush instead it's a little bit more firmer and it's just a bit smaller I just feel like it's going to be a bit better okay we've now got Walnut 
I'm just going to stamp a little bit right on that edge. Okay, with these shimmers eyeshadows I'm using so far, I feel like they are effortless, like they're so easy to blend. In a way, it's a good thing. In a way, it's a bad thing because sometimes if they blend too easily, they fade into nothing. When sun shimmers, when they blend, or mattes, when you blend them, when they're really easy to blend, like when they feel like they're effortless, that's always a perk. So it has its pros and its cons, that kind of thing. But with these eyeshadows, I feel like they're really easy to blend. With the walnut colour, I did go back in with the two previous colours just to sort of diffuse that and I found that shimmer just blended out really easy so they blend out really easy but they do fade really into nothing so I just had to re-add it a little bit but you can see it and it's blended nicely I apologize if you can hear any banging there's some work going on and uh, there's nothing really I could do I'm afraid okay so I'm gonna start rubbing on now so there's two colors here so there's walnut here and there's grape which is this purple here so i think i'm going to take the shade oh not walnut so hazelnut so i'm going to take hazelnut which is this color here it's like a really nice it's not like a copper brown color well like a golden copper brown i'm going to apply that here and then i'm going to take grape which i haven't used grape and apply that just on the outer corner there so hazelnut here grape there just trying to add as many colors as possible really just going to take an angled brush okay now I'm going to go in with grape on a different angled brush ooh that colour's really vibrant I like how those two colours have come out. I didn't think grape would be that vibrant, but it really is. It's just that little hint of colour. I really like it. I'm going to go in with Peanut, which is this colour right here. It's sort of like a... It's not like Macadamia, because Macadamia is like an icy, banana-y yellow. This one's a little bit more like a very like slightly peachy sort of colour, I would say. And I'm going to put that in the brow bone and the inner corner. Yeah, it's quite peachy. Might not show that well, but... It'll just at least help to brighten everything up. Oh yeah, that's just not too much brightening, but it certainly is brightening up. Okay, as you guys can see, and I have done a wing on this eye, so we're going to do the same with this eye. So this is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I really like this pen. And I'm just going to do a wing on this eye. Alright guys, I'm just going to add a cold pencil to the waterline, add on my falsies and show you guys the finished look. And this is the eye look completed. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to, link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day, stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys, take care.